This is Gabriel Gonzalez for Cage Side Press here at Black House MMA with top strawweight contender Mackenzie Dern making her return at UFC Tampa October 12th against Amanda Ribas. First off, Mackenzie, this is your first time back in a fight in a minute. How does it feel like to be, you know, hey, it's coming up, we're getting close to the end of camp. What's that feeling like lately? Yeah, I'm so excited, you know, was, um, I really wanted to fight this soon after I had Moa, my baby. Uh, the UFC kind of didn't want me to fight so soon. I think it was like the earliest they had, like a comeback after a pregnancy. So they were like, oh, what about breastfeeding and the weight cut? You know, my last fight I didn't make weight. So they said, now it's going to be even harder, you know. No, give them more time. I said, no, 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 I'm ready to get back. Let's do it. Um, and then also to my husband, he's a pro surfer, you know, so right now is a good time for him to be able to help me out with the baby, you know, and, and how his competitions are a little bit slower right now. And then later he'll have more. So I'm like, no, now is the time. Let's go. So we're like on the, the final couple weeks, you know, I'm really excited. I'm feeling great. Um, everything's going good. Well, I mean, I know you're going to be asked a million times about this being a new mom. So uh, here's my question, because people talk about the cowboy, you know, the dad Cerrone, the dad Stipe. Is there a mom, Mackenzie? This is going to be a stupid question. Do you feel different in terms of just waking up and getting to training as a mom? Oh, yeah, for sure. Everyone's like, man, it's going to be way harder. It's like, honestly, it's so much easier. You know, I wake up and it's like, you, you don't even have to like find a motivation, you know, like you're just automatically motivated. You wake up in the morning, you're, you're, autom you're motivated. And I don't even like, I know why, of course, because of her, but I don't need to find the motivation, you know, I just wake up, motivated. so everything is easier, everything is way easier than before, before it's like, uh, yeah, I want money, but I'll take the money later, you know, uh, okay, I want to like have vacation now, you know what I mean, it's just for me, but now for her, everything is so much easier, so the training, she comes, watches the training, it's so cute, she like laughs and smiles now and just see everything, so for sure, it's like, definitely people will see like, man, she's different, you know, and I think people can tell, like all my followers, they can see like, how focused I am, my Instagram, like I'm posting everything that, like I see the fans saying like, man, she's different, you know. <laughs> now, now to ask, you know, you, you mentioned it, you know, the weight and everything last time. If you don't mind my saying, I watched you cracking pads as I came in. You are in fantastic shape. I mean, uh, compared to your other fights, how are you in terms of being on point to make straw weight this many weeks out? Yeah, I'm 122 this morning, or last yesterday morning, so seven off, you know, I have like three weeks left, you know, I'm feeling great. Um, the only thing is, like, because of the breastfeeding, you know, like, it's so funny, I say like, yeah, you know, before, like, people would be okay, like, the night before, you're like half a pound over, sauna, 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 and I'm thinking like, okay, Moa, come on, you gotta like take the milk, take the milk, you know, I'm like thinking so funny, you know, but I'm feeling great, like, one training and my weight goes down, I think just the breastfeeding is burning so many calories, you know, it's, it's really crazy what our body does and I'm feeling like way leaner. Uh, for sure I lost a lot of muscle during my pregnancy and was like I kind of started like at zero again and I think that's what I needed, you know, because from my last seven fights I fought fast, like really one after the other. I did seven fights in a year and a half, you know, so uh, every time I would cut weight, I would like cover, gain more weight, you know, gain more and gain more, you know. So I think I, that's why I need to kind of start off to zero. I gain back my muscle, you know, like, but cleaner. Everything's cleaner, you know, so I'm leaner and everything. So I'm feeling great. I'm feeling really good. Now, I heard you talk about, you know, with Helene about the fans and, you know, everyone's supporting you now that, you know, hey, we want to see her have a successful comeback. If you don't mind my saying so, you have one of the most unique relationships with the fans because I feel like there's a lot of Mackenzie Dern fans who love supporting you on Instagram and everything. And then you have another half that sometimes, you know, the little stuff that people like to get on you about. Yeah. How would you describe your relationship with the fans? Because I feel like I don't know if there's a fighter who is as teased sometimes but yeah. they still love her so much yeah yeah I think that's how it is you know I think like you know kind of like in my situation like or I have the fans that really want me to win you know yeah. or they have the ones that want to see me like fail you know but they're watching me you know and they want to see you know and they want to see like man but why is she winning you know like but they're still interested you know <laughs> so um I mean hey it's part of the game you know and like I go with it you know I I, I try not to like block people or anything like that, you know, like because it's it's open, you know, it's open. People are gonna say what they want to say, but I just try to be like a good, good person for my daughter, for my husband, and for the and for the. I, I of course I think all the fans that are with me, like with the ups and downs, you know, like they, they everyone who like really sees who I am, you know, that's what's most important. So. 
Before we talk about Amanda Rebus, I want to mention one person who say, who brings you up uh, quite a few times. That's Macy Barber. I mean, yeah. what is this with the, I guess you guys were going to fight, but the scheduling with LFA didn't work out. I mean, is this someone who's on the radar, another girl young in her career? Is she just, you know, if it happens, how do you feel about that fight? Because it feels like it comes up every few months when you talk about you two. Uh... I really didn't even know who she was until she was in the OC and called me out. <laughs> so uh, the whole thing about like, oh, we were gonna fight, never came to me, never got to my, never came to my ear, you know. So I mean, if that's what she wants to believe, you know, like, hey, everyone does things for their own confidence, you know, and like, hey, if she feels like people are running away from her, that's fine, you know. Like, I want to stay at the 115, you know, that's my plan. Mm -hmm. Of course, I would like after win the belt at 115, I would like to go up to 125, you know, but my goal is to win the belt at 115 first, so hey, who knows, if she's champion at 125 and I get the belt at 115, I'll go and say hi to her, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it. Let's talk about Amanda Rebus, obviously coming off that win over Emily Whitmere. Um, what are your thoughts on her and what she brings to the table as an opponent? Yeah, I think she's a tough uh, opponent, you know, for sure. She's not someone easy, especially like right after taking like almost one year off, you know, so uh, I think it was a good fight and I was happy, you know, I said like, I mean, the fans, you know, they're going to always say something like, oh, the UFC gives her easy fights, oh, this, that, you know, so uh, I was happy that Amanda, they gave me Amanda because she's a tough girl, like I thought like, okay, no one can say anything because she's a tough girl, you know, uh, she's a black belt in jiu-jitsu and judo, so I know she's not going to be like so scared of my jiu-jitsu because like she knows what she's doing too and when you mix up with punches, like then I mix like a black belt to like a purple belt, you know, when they're getting punched in the face, so I'm excited, I feel really good, I'm, I know I'm doing like my best in my camp and for sure she's doing the best she can in her camp too um so we'll see it's uh i know she has one loss you know so maybe maybe that makes her more scared to lose and she doesn't want to feel that again i've never felt that you know so at the same time i don't want to feel that ever so let's see let's see how it goes but i'm excited for the fight i think it will be a good fight and i i think we'll end up going to the ground you know we're both ground people so even if we stay standing up i think in the end we're both gonna want to go to the ground I mean, I think a lot of fans are expecting that and just to see, you know, who's going to reign supreme. Obviously, we know your pedigree and we've seen her. Let me ask you um, uh, two final questions. The first one is, you were very active before getting pregnant. The UFC obviously pushing you, in, uh, you know, they put you out there a lot. Do you plan to still stay active? You know, like, do you, if you're healthy, do you want to be one of those people who comes back right away if you can? Yeah, for sure. I definitely want to, like, um, try and have a weight that... Um, hey, if the UFC needs maybe like a last minute fight, I can pop in, you know. I've never been that athlete. I've always been like the athlete, like, no, I always want to have a full camp, you know. Um, like, they would ask me, I said, no, 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 I want like two months at least, you know. But now coming in and now that I'm like lean and everything, I'm saying, hey, you know what? Like, why not, you know, if I'm winning and I'm feeling good and it, that it's a good matchup, like, I'll take the fight, like, Cowboy Cerrone and all these people, you know, it's it's good. And I've done that my whole life, you know, jiu-jitsu, we fought, like, three times a month, you know, and when I started MMA, was a legacy, LFA, was, like, one fight and then two months later, another fight. So I would like to do the UFC, the faster I can get to the belt, that's, uh, that's the best. <laughs> awesome. And the last one, what's your message to all the Mackenzie Dern fans who are excited to see you finally come back? Yeah, I just say thank you, everyone, for all the support during the pregnancy, for everything. For sure, I'm not going to let you guys down. I'm going to give you, like, a great fight. And, um, yeah, let's do this all the way to the belt. Oops. Awesome. Mackenzie, a pleasure. Best of luck in October.